All right, we're here with Andrew Fischel at the uh, NAC in Salt Lake City. Uh, Andrew, tell us about your weekend. Uh, my weekend didn't go that well. I, uh, I had kind of a poor pool, and in my first DE, I actually won on a red card when my opponent clocked me in the face, and I actually, I think I blacked out for a couple seconds because I remember being hit, and then I remember being on the ground. So, but I don't remember anything in between. Um, so that kind of gave me a headache, and then after being inspected by the trainer for like half an hour, I had to fence immediately, and I, I wasn't as focused as I should have been, and I wasn't as warmed up as I should have been, so I didn't really put up as much of a fight as I could have, and I lost in the 64. How, how much of an impact do you think uh, getting knocked in the face had on, on that result? Um, I wasn't fencing great the whole day, and I had already done poorly in pools, so I had a very hard opponent in the 64, but I think the fact that I was just like a little bit distracted from that, and I didn't have a chance to, to, to keep moving and I was just a little bit cold, so it just wasn't a very good combination at that point. I'm not making any excuses. I didn't fence the bout very well, but I think that definitely affected me a little bit. And that happened yesterday. How are you feeling today? I actually feel totally fine today. I, I was with the trainer for like an hour combined yesterday and today at different points with him doing different coordination tests and things to make sure that I did not have a concussion. So I, I think I'm okay. I'm not in any way dizzy. My, my face doesn't hurt. I'm, I think I'm all right. So. It's All good. right, now for the million dollar question. Uh, this is a bit of an expose. Uh, tell us a little bit about your, your pursuits on the side of, of when you're competing. My pursuits on the side, you mean just like what else, whatever else I'm doing in my, my normal life? I guess specifically uh, at events, often you can be found with uh, a video camera in your hand. Oh, that. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so, um, so I have been filming fencing ever since. I went to my first Division I tournament in 2007, I think, and I remember seeing all these amazing fencers doing these amazing things that I wanted to try, and the next day I could remember such a small amount of what I wanted to try that I realized there was almost no point in going to these events and staying to the end unless I, was, I had a way to remember it, so I, I started filming everything, and my dad pointed out maybe other people might like to see what I was filming as well. So rather than have it just sit on my computer and get like two views from me or something, I have been uploading them since right after that tournament. And I, everything that I see, I film basically, and I upload it as soon as I can so that everyone else has a chance to see it too. But, and, uh, and to that point, uh, what is your name? My name is Andrew Fischel. <laughs> a lot of people just know me as Cyrus of Chaos from the videos, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, my name is Andrew Fischel. I fence for the United States national team, um, and I live on Long Island. Very, very cheeky response. But yeah, Cyrus of Chaos, and uh, like you said, a lot of people know you publicly through your, your YouTube name and, and your website. Um, as far as the Cyrus of, of Chaos, uh, can we get a little, little insight on the origin of that name? I mean, it's, it's kind of silly. I used to, I used to play Super Smash Brothers Melee at a somewhat competitive level, and that was my, my, my gamer tag. So when I started uploading videos, I just used my gamer tag, and I didn't think it would be such a big successful thing, or I might have picked a more official name. But at this point, what can you do? You're just like, your name is your name. You're just, it, it's I, 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 I identify with it, so like, that's good. It's a, it's a great name. Yeah. And, uh, how about as far as your, your coverage? Uh, the majority of your, your coverage is uh, men's saber. Why is that? Yeah, that's not anything having to do with like uh, preference for weapon or gender. It's just what I'm what I have available to me. I film everything that I see, and so if I'm I, I'm obviously every saber tournament I go to, I'm I film all of that. So I get men's saber at every tournament I go to. But the only real opportunity I have to get other events is when I stay, like, I, I stayed this extra day for this, I got here a day early. So from this tournament, I will upload Div 1 FA, uh, I'll upload Div 1 Women's Foil, but I never go to World Cups for other weapons, so you're not going to see anything that's not Men's Saber unless someone is nice enough to send it to me. So, but yeah, it's not any sort of preference or favoritism, it's just what's available to me, and Saber is always available, because that's what I fence. And so. how about for your viewers? What's something that, uh, as far as interaction online, or what's something that you'd like for your viewers, or 
a plug for Cyrus of Chaos that they might be able to expect from you going forward. Say that again. Uh, as far as like feedback uh, from from your viewers or anything like that, is there anything that you'd like to ask? Feedback from the viewers. Um, so as a lot of you know, I make an amazing touches reel every year, and I have to go through all the footage myself, which is fine. I I watch all the videos that I record basically the night or the day after I record them. But if you guys are watching the video and you have a suggestion for what an amazing touch should be, feel free to leave that as a comment. I read and try to respond to all of your comments. So if you see a touch that you really like from a World Cup video, by all means, say something and maybe you'll see it in the next amazing touches reel. But it's a lot easier if I have some crowdsourcing because, you know, Sometimes it's hard for me to tell like what people would like and what people don't like, so I just go by my own personal preference. But that's a great point. And uh, how about what's next for you as far as uh, your own your own uh, competitive schedule? So next tournament is Padua in Italy. That's the weekend at the end of January, I think. Um, and after that might be Warsaw in Poland but I'm not exactly sure on the date of that. I pretty much just take it like one tournament at a time and you know, see how things go. All right, well, best of luck with that. And uh, thank you very much for uh, sharing the history of Cyrus of Chaos. Thank you and you're welcome.